You are what you eat. And I mean that in the literal and in the figurative sense. You are what you eat. You are what you consume. You are what you put into your body. You are what you watch. You are what you read. You are what you enjoy. Being a creative person whose life work, both in a nine to five paying bills sense and also in a five to nine and five to whatever, doing something that fills your soul, creativity is honestly a product of all the things that you have consumed. My relationship with food has always been consistent in the sense of it's what brings people together and I assume what I mean I'd, I'd hope that's what creativity also does so my family had a very long tradition of at least my grandmother started this of celebrating wins celebrating people celebrating whether it's their birthday whether it's their achievements whatever it is celebrating them over a plate of food over dinner over lunch over camaraderie everyone coming together eating and sharing that is how that has been her love language to us and that is how we have celebrated and shown love to each other through food and my relationship with food has always been that where it is a tool to bring people together it is a tool to not only nourish your stomach but also nourish relationships you know if you're going on a date take that girl out to dinner so that you can show love in some way i don't know that's just how i've been um, taught and so this made me think of creativity and how much we are all so violently online all we're doing is consuming to the point where we don't even get to cre the creation part or at least as a creative that's how i felt where i am a tiktok fiend that means my days are spent on tiktok watching other people create things that i long to create and as much as i can draw a lot of inspiration from them and gain a lot of um, wisdom from them all I'm doing is being on the bench watching them either live the life that I'd like to live or creating things that I would like to see and I'm not actually moving a finger I'm just only my eyeballs are enjoying this visual feast and as a creative that kind of feels like I've let myself down in a way because it's one thing to consume it's another thing to take that consumption and create something out of it just like food where you can eat all this beautiful meal that feels nourishing but you still need to burn that food <laughs> through energy you have to do to burn you need to do something to burn that food to make energy in order to consume again i don't know so Creative, my creativity, I've been trying to picture my creativity as an entity. Um, I also saw this on TikTok, love you TikTok. Um, but I, I, I would like to picture my creativity as this entity that I need to pour into her in order for her to pour into me. I've taken up um, painting, I color. I try to read, I try to watch really insightful interviews, I don't know, all in a bit to kind of feed her with good food. And I've seen that, you know, in some ways uh, it's made a difference sometimes when I feel very stuck, when I do something completely different, like coloring in <laughs> or scrapbooking, which is something I'd like to start. Or making a clay thing that's what actually gets that inspiration going that's what that's that's me actually trying to uh, kaulela what is the English word for kaulela that's me trying to approach the inspiration as opposed to it hitting me whenever um, I feel like I need it and it's helped it's really really helped it's been 
a journey and it's hard when you're starting crafty things for the first time because it you feel like you have to get it right the first time and because you consume so much online I said you're like I want to do that but your hands can't do it because you're just starting it might deter you from actually continuing and actually seeing the reason you're doing it isn't necessarily to make pretty pictures it's to have an outlet and yeah that's how i've been feeling about this journey of creativity me taking creativity very seriously i mean i do take it seriously because it what it's what got me to a different country it's what gives me a paycheck at the end of every month but taking it seriously in the sense of i want to nourish her i don't just want to have her and whether it's doing these little crafty things whether it's taking a walk whether it's writing whether it's talking to someone about the things that i that really really sets me on fire so be it as long as i'm being creative and i am consuming or at least giving off all this beauty that i've consumed and yeah you are what you eat but make sure what you eat is wholesome